Hi, this is Brent with Studio One Expert. And in this video, I want to show you how I'm using a kalimba sample that I recorded. And I'm going to turn it into a number of different virtual instruments that are playable using Studio One's native sampler, which is Sample One. So this shouldn't take us longer than five minutes to do. And I'm just going to be focusing on using PreSonus's native plugins that come with Studio One Professional. So I have my sample here. And I can tell by looking at it visually that we already have some issues in terms of phasing just left and right. So I'm just going to make this mono because otherwise it's largely a uh, left channel dominated. So I'll center it as mono information and bounce it down. And now we don't have that issue anymore. And just before I go in and send this to sample one, I'm going to apply some of Studio One's native effects to it. Now, one of the ones that I really love is the red light district. And this is basically their distortion unit, their main saturation unit. Um, and I can find that if I circle through here, or I can actually just go in my browse menu, and then I have my effects tab, and here's all of the native effects. And here we have the red light district. There's a couple of really good presets on here. Let's just have a look through some of these, and then I'll dial back the mix knob and maybe change some of the types on the bottom left. Let's pull back the mix knob and loop this section. So mainly what that's doing is just adding a little bit more harmonics and also it's increasing the actual dynamic range. It's reducing the dynamic range a little bit and this will help us down the line. Now the other thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring in the Pro EQ. I'm actually going to put this before the red light distortion and simply just roll off everything below 100. I'm going to change this curves and the 12th octaves into a FFT curve. I can see a resonant peak here at around 300. Just duck that out. Six decibels. And same sort of thing here. I'm actually just going to bring this further forward. And that'll do. Okay, now if we right click and we go to audio, we can do send a new sample one, or I already have it here in recent items. And here, if I drag it up from my below screen, I have the sample. So I can now play this as an instrument straight away in sample one. So I'm going to do a couple more things here and basically shape the amp envelope so we can turn this into a lead or a pluck or a pad. And we also have some effects down the bottom that make this really intuitive fast. And we can do it all with inside this plugin here. So first thing I'm going to do is just normalize it to get the actual level up when we're playing it we can change this later on and then i'm going to just go down here to my filter section and play around some of the different filter types i can also zoom and use my scroll wheel and just fine tune the start of it as we can see it's not quite on the start mark and that's much better Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce the LFO to modulate the cutoff. And this is really, really simple. You have a selection of different waveforms. I'm going to pick the saw wave and you can control the rate and the delay here. And all we have to do is just assign the LFO's uh, modulation amount here within the filter section. So there we have a much, much better sound. And let's go to our spatial effects. I'm going to put this as a panned and I'm going to use 16th dotted and send the delay in the reverb. And last thing is a little bit of chorus, increase the width and reduce the feedback of the delay. 
And there we go. I've got something there that I've just designed from scratch using um, a sample, and we've gone into sample one, and it sounds like this. <laughs> So that was just a really quick video to show how you can use samples in Sample 1 XT and I'll see you guys in the next one.